رسول الله علی دیمه شه دست دور مولا شم رفع از دستان شم همه نداختن فریقت نا صحبه وید خیر و فی جمعیه مؤمنن امتحانا The mu'min's believer's test and trial is in this world. The world is the place of trials for the mu'min believer. And it's the paradise, the heaven of non-believers. How is it so? How can it be paradise in this world? Because for non-believers, where they're going is so bad compared to here even if it's so bad here compared to hell it is like heaven here so no matter how difficult the test might be for a mu'min believer for him it's a benefit it's of use there is nothing useless for a mu'min a non-believer never ceases to oppose Allah. They do not follow the commands of Allah. And they also keep a grudge against those who are with Allah and who believe in Allah. They make plans and think, how should I make life difficult for these people? Throughout their lifetime, they think, how can I harm these people and be an enemy to them? And those who are like them are the same way, day and night, with everything they have. What they do, all they do is how they think how to harm these Muslims in Islam. How can we be enemies towards them? How can we harm them? That's what they think about. Those who are mu'mins, those who are believers in Islam, they, do n they should not give them much importance. They should just ignore them. They said this and that to us. Well, it's just normal. You would not expect anything else from them. So never think that they're going to do you good. And even if they do good, we should think, why are they doing us this thing? Because... There's something behind it. There's no need to be upset about any of this because since the time of Adam salam, Mu'min's believers have suffered. Nothing has changed. It is a battle, a war between non-belief and belief. And the non-believer, the infidel, uses every means and every way they have a famous saying all means are acceptable in order to achieve the goal they do whatever they like don't stop yourself from anything there's no such thing as that's an embarrassment or it's a sin or it's not allowed or it would be tyranny they say you can do anything in order to reach your goal until you reach the goal they said this about communism but for non-belief it's true the same way it's normal it's they can use any means what we need to do is be patient against it and not to lend an ear to them not to go in the path that they show whether it's human rights and what not what they say don't ever lend an ear to such things 
Otherwise, you'll suffer the consequences in this world and the next, and it'll be of no use for you. So, we are in this world, and it's a place of tests, trials. Because it is a place of tests, it's a little difficult, it's a little hard, but the end of this test, for those who are patient, will be good. For those who are steady on the path of truth, for those who are steadfast, the end is heaven, paradise. Their end will be nice, good. For those who deviate from the path, it's hard, it's regret, it will be regret and their end will be bad. May Allah protect us from such an end. Therefore, even if the whole world were in your hands, were yours, in the hereafter, even if you said, I want to give it all so I'll be saved from this, Allah states in the Holy Quran, you can do nothing. It will be of no use for you then. So we should not think of this world as anything important or big and run after it. Or run after those who rule this world. That's not something clever. Be with those who are on the way of Allah and be an enemy against those who are enemies of Allah. How are we going to be enemies to them? Well, you say they're not our friends, they're our enemies. Since they consider us enemies too. And in the same way, we see them as enemies then. May Allah protect us. We are in end times. There are more tests. There are more hardships. But for those who are with Allah, they never suffer hardship. May Allah strengthen our faith. And may we be steadfast on this path, inshallah.